everybody. So this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually put the retextured items that you've made into the game world. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a blank ESP. And I'm going to use some resources from my other mod I'm working on to show you this. So we're just going to load up only Fallout3.esm. And let everything load, obviously. It should go a little quicker. Now, the thing here is you're going to be editing a lot of entries. A lot of entries. And I'm going to show you the way I'm doing it for maximum spread throughout the game world. With the, the same method I'm using in my mod. This will probably end up becoming a two-part video. So first and foremost, we need a texture. We need two texture sets made. So we need a male and female. What we're going to do is we're just going to base it off of the combat armor. But to do that, there is no combat armor one here. So we need to go new. So we're just going to say we're going to call this test combat armor M for male and then we need to choose the diffuse so what we'll do is we'll go into my I'm in my uh, diversified waist on clothing directory and we're gonna open up the combat armor and the mail folder and let's go ahead and go with the uh, the uh, slaver vet armor um, and you know you can you gotta make sure that these things match so we'll choose the uh, normal map that I have in that folder as well so that's how that goes and then we just hit OK and so then we go and open that one up again and this time we're gonna change that M to an F and so what we do is we click here and I've got a female version of the same one right here and then we need to change the normal map to the female version normal map right there um, and then we hit OK and create a new form now then we minimize that and go over here to armor and expand and we need to go to combat armor open up the basic combat armor and then we go test combat armor and then we will edit this and we will apply the texture set that the texture sets that are accordingly so we go to test combat armor male make sure you do not pick female on accident now the combat armor works a little different than others all of them have kind of their own setup so see we're getting there not all of the textures applied yet Notice there's two upper body parts. One's the chest plate, one's the shoulder pad and legs. And then we need to do this. And see there's the difference right there. Um, on this one, since it's got short sleeves, we don't need to worry about anything else. We just need to worry about those three. Okay, and then we hit all right. And then we go here. Remember to change the go model to the same male texture. So go like that. There we go. And hit OK. And then we edit the female model in, this, in the very same way only. We use the female version of the texture instead. Whoops. Wrong texture. Not a hard fix. And then back that. And maybe this won't become a two part. Okay, so that should be all. Yep, that would be all of it. Okay, and then we hit OK. Now we've already got the form ID changed. And we hit OK, yes, create new form. Now this is where it gets tricky. You're going to be messing with love with uh, item lists here. So what you need to do is right click on the base that you just made this off of. So the basic combat armor. You right click on it, you go to use info. This brings up a list of all the things that use this armor. Do not touch this anything that's script. Don't touch any of those. 
but you see the condition combat armor you want to double click that and then you want to double click condition armor condition combat armor slaver NPCs are going to work a little different but we want to have those guys open anyway so we open all those NPCs this could bog your computer down if it's not awesome uh, or like you well know, if it's only like mediocre um, and then you open uh, this is kind of tedious just make sure you don't open two of the same window or try to anyway because then it can kind of get you can screw you up a little bit just trying to reorient yourself almost done um, anything that says test QA don't touch those okay now this is important too this is the repair combat armor list so you need that open so you can close that now what you do this is this part's easy to be to make it so the uh, com the combat armor I just set up and the old combat armor can repair each other you just drag it over like that there we go okay hit okay all right we'll forget the NPCs for now because that's that's kind of a trickier part and you got to set other stuff up before you edit them anyway so what we'll do is see over here you've got the different levels what this column describes is what level you will be before that particular item will show up in a random loot drop off of a slaver that's wearing combat armor now the health column shows you at what condition that arbor will be at so what we need to do is to maximize variance and make it so it's an even spread of what you're going to see you take the test combat over that, uh, that you just set up and you drag three of them over for level one okay then you click on the first one over here in the health and you want to match it to the lowest one so 15 and then again 25 again 35 okay now then there's two for level six so you drag two more over whoops without doing what I just did it didn't really mess anything up just threw me off so you drag two more over then you click on the, f on the first one and you go six and then you match it to that so both of them are at 45 so this will be a really easy 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 change so then you go 45 and then you click on that one again so the one that says level one next to it and you go six and then you go 45 okay and then you've got two at level eight at 55 percent so you drag two more over and again I messed up oh well and then those are at 55 so you click on this one here it'll make it so the list doesn't reorganize itself and you go eight uh, I guess it will anyway oh well and 55 and then again you go eight and then you go 55 and then you need two more for level 10 at 65 percent so you click on one of those and you just add a zero click and then you go 65 and then you do that one more time 10 click and 65 and then you hit OK bam now every slaver every random slaver you might come across that uses that particular list for combat armor rather than using only the one combat armor there is a chance they will be wearing that variant as well it'll be an even spread uh, well an even chance not spread but an even chance of it happening 